हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम पवन कुमार झा योर जोग्राफी टीचर थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक इंडिया एंड इट्स लोकेशन फर्स्ट कम टू नो अबाउट द कंट्री इंडिया इंडिया इज अ लार्ज कंट्री इंडिया इज द सेवेंथ लार्जेस्ट कंट्री ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इंडिया इज लोकेटेड इन द नदर्न हेमिस्फेयर and it is in asian country it is a south asian country india is located between 8 degree 4 minute north to 37 degree 6 minute north this latitudinal extent is of indian mainland but we have oceanic area also and we have two groups of islands that is andaman and nicobar group of island which is in bay of bengal and lakshadweep island which is in arabian sea you know that you may have studied in class 10 a term that is called exclusive economic zone this exclusive economic zone is the oceanic area of any country which is up to 12 nautical mile from the sea coast and when this data is taken then the southernmost point of india that is indira point which is in the bay of bengal and that is at approximately 6 degree 45 minute north so we can say that india is located between 6 degree 45 minute north to 37 degree 6 minute north so we can say that india has a very large or very long uh, north south extent or you can say that latitudinal extent this large latitudinal extent that makes india a subcontinent because india has varied climate due to this large north south extent or you can say that this large latitudinal extent you know that in the uh, tropic of cancer divides india in almost two equal parts the northern part that is in the trop temperate region and the southern part that is in the tropical region so india has tropical as well as temperate climate as it has different climate it has varied climate at different places so that varied climate or that uh, diverse climate makes diverse culture diverse way of living diverse food habits this way it has all these characteristics are of a continent so this country is considered as a subcontinent india is located between 68 degree 7 minute east to 97 degree 25 minute east this is the longitudinal extent of india and this is also a very large approximately that is of 30 degree means we can say that india has 30 meridians and you may have studied in class 9 that these as 30 meridians means these 30 places these 30 meridians will have their own local time so according to this india should have different time zones or different local times india has it but the clocks of india shows almost equal time or same time for the country okay this diverse reason or this climatic condition or such latitudinal and longitudinal extent makes india a subcontinent india is completely in northern hemisphere and about this that why different time zones are there where the different time is there that we will discuss in our next video
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच